Hi, my name is John McGraw and I'm a business major studying marketing. So something interesting about me is I actually built my first car. So here it is, you can't really see it, but it's actually a 73 Camaro Z28 and it's really loud. And uh, another thing is my family races. So we have a lot of cars that we race here and at our shop. Um, one thing that's nice about our food environment is we have a freezer for all our frozen foods. I never really use it to be honest. Um, and then we have a drink fridge right here that literally just holds drinks and ice cream. Um, so for our kitchen, I don't do a lot of cooking, but my mom does. So thankful for her. Um, the most, the main thing I do use in the kitchen is this. I cook eggs and mainly just eggs and chicken and other stuff, but usually I run out of time and end up using the air fryer right here. And then a lot of times I use a toaster and a microwave. Um, now in the morning, sometimes I get coffee, but not a lot. Um, my family does have a lot of dry foods. I don't really eat a lot of from here besides peanut butter and jelly and some basic stuff. Now our fridge, it's mostly healthy. We got meats, we got like potato salad, strawberries, eggs, and then spinach, and fruits in there. And then we keep a ton of salads and fresh cucumbers and celery and all that. So I'd rate that pretty healthy. We also stock up on milk and eggs because that's literally all I eat. Um, other than that, um, we do keep our fair share of supplements and stuff for our family as uh, stuff falling out like our greens and our carbs and our proteins and all that um if i would rate our food environment in my house now and during covid i would say a seven out of ten and that's because we do have a snack area just honey buns and these and a bunch of muffins and wheat thins in our snack drawer, which just has a ton of things. Cereal. Yes, peanuts are kind of healthy, but we have like Cheez-Its, Oreos, and bars and stuff, which I eat the breakfast bars. And then we always keep our bread fresh in this thing. But if I would have to rate it now, even though I'm not here as much, I would say still 7 out of 10. With COVID, the only thing we did change was we did put a home gym in our house, but now that everyone's vaccinated and it got kind of better, I started going to a normal gym and my mom and dad mainly use it now. I do walk my big dog around sometimes and she is right over here as the Chiefs are playing. Here she is. Oh my God, it's so dark. But she is a Samoyed and she's probably like 50, 60 pounds, 64 pounds. And she gets work because she walks for about an hour, hour and a half, which is forever. But that's my food environment. And that's it for the questions. I wanted to say the first thing about starting the course, readings and tutorials, or like just a question about the course itself. I was wondering how much knowledge are we going to learn in the first semester about nutrition i'm not a nutrition major but i want to know like it's something important to me i'm starting to get into the gym and stuff and then good behaviors for a successful online student i think is staying ahead making sure you have all your work done and just keep moving forward no matter what and don't let stuff in the past stress you out um and then the best way to stay with your instructor and your Faculty member, learning environment is always stay in contact, get to know them, email them, have at least a conversation at the beginning of the semester. And if you do need help, then you already know each other. You don't have to introduce yourselves. You can get right into just getting your help and it just builds a better connection.